Yo, what's happening, my tribe? You're in the right place if you want to defeat Mob Lord of Blood in Mowen Palace to gain access to the Lands of Shadow in Shadow of the Earth Tree. It's easy and quick. There's no cheese. So let's beat this sucker up. The quickest way to do this if you want to set up a bleed or a magic build to nuke this boss. The bleed build that I'm using has two occult scavenger swords with high arcane. To make the fight even easier, you can pop your Mimic tier, but as you can see, I didn't really need it because Mog is ironically weak to bleed and you do a ton of damage in every combo, but you are more than welcome to use it. Just buff up and do a few jump attacks and you will kill him in no time before his annoying second phase. On the screen, it's a complete bleed build that I use for this attempt. The next easy build is a magic one around Comet Azur with high intellect that will obliterate Mog really quick and effortless. Just use Terra Magica with the Cerulean Hidden Tear in your Physic Flask and Comet Azur his ass while he's walking up to you and that's it. On the screen is the complete magic build that I use for this attempt. Now for the rest of the builds, uh, it's gonna be a little more tricky unless you are not human and you kill bosses with no hits. You can use these three extra items that will help you in the fight. They are optional because you can beat the boss without them, but it will make your life easier when fighting Mob. Number one, always use a summon like a Mimic Tear or the Black Knife Teach, which is a favorite of mine, or even summon a friend. They can tank and take the aggro away from you, leaving Mog open for attacks on his back and also helping you avoid those annoying frontal spear attacks. Number two, Mog's Shackle. It's a reusable item that you can use to immobilize Mog in his first phase, but only has two uses, so be sure to make the most damage possible when he's stunned into the ground. Mog's Shackle can be found in the Leyden Royal Capital, down in the subterranean shunning grounds, behind where one big lobster enemy pops up from the ground. Follow this route from the balcony side of Grace to get it. Number three, on your physique flask, use the purifying crystal tier to negate and purify Mog's curse to prevent blood loss when he starts the second phase, when he does the blood shower and starts to heal. And also use the speckled heart tier to cure if you have blood loss and raise resistances. So when you start the fight and he start walking towards you, you have enough time to buff up, cast your summon and drink up FP flask if needed and then let the summon tank for a bit then you can try to get close and use Mog's shackle to interrupt and stun him. When he is stunned, do the most damage possible because it will only last a few seconds. Then try to use Mog's shackle for a second time before you get past his 50% health bar and that's when he will start his second phase transition. You will know it's coming when he applies that third red ring around you with his ritual countdown move. Right now I have two rings around me, so when he does the third one, you want to switch to your Physique Flask and use it. Try to use the Physique Flask to activate Purifying Crystal Tier and Speckled Heart Tier before your second phase transition to cure Bloodlust so you don't have to use a lot of Health Flask and focus on getting close and do a lot of damage because he will heal 25% of his health. If he's still alive after he finishes the transition, let your summon keep tanking and finish him off with your attacks. In this attempt, I use a pure strength build using two colossal weapons, aka the Great Sword, with the physical damage negation Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman and the Flame Drake Talisman, increasing your fire resistance. On the screen is the complete strength build that I use for this attempt. And also, I made another attempt with a Dexterity Faith build using one Nagakiba again with the physical damage negation Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman and the Flame Drake Talisman increasing the fire resistance. 
This one was a little hectic because I used the Mimic tier instead of the Black Knight to teach. And sometimes he loses aggro and only managed to stun Mog one time. So when he healed on the second phase, he had more HP. On the screen is a complete dexterity faith build that I use for this attempt. So there you have it guys, hope this helped with killing Mog easily so you can start enjoying Shadow of the Earth 3 DLC content faster. So if you got a bleed or magic build, you can beat it easily with no cheese whatsoever. For all other builds it's possible, but if you are having trouble with the fight, use the three items I suggested to make your life easier. Guys, you know the drill. Like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my Elden Ring content. Thank you so much for your support. Take care and see you on the next video. Ciao!